Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends Toys R Us exclusive A-Force six-pack Elsa Bloodstone. And I'm going to tell you right up front, this is maybe my favorite figure from the bunch. They did an exceptionally good job with it. I think it's probably... It, let's just say it's one of the best. It, it's tied for in the top three. Let's go with that. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands just about 15, a little over 15 and a half centimeters to the top of the head. The hair does stick up a little bit more in the back. And that makes it uh, a little shy. It's about six and an eighth inches tall. And like I said, subjectively, this is probably my favorite figure from the bunch, but objectively, it's tied in the top three. They're all pretty darn good, the remaining three figures, that is. So, what's good about this figure? First of all, it comes with accessories. We have two of her rifles slash shotguns. It's kind of hard to decide what these are. The sculpt is very soft on them. Luckily, we do have a little bit of paint to make them look kind of nice. And then we do also have her revolver. It's not the best sculpt, again, in the world, but a little bit of paint goes a long way, so... It's not too bad. It does fit in her holster, which is connected to her waist. Uh, I mean, it's not connected. It wraps around her waist and then down to her thigh. It's kind of a blocky sculpt, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's just a little thick, but it's okay. Now, the rest of the figure, we see a lot of reused parts, but the way they put them together is very nice. I think this jacket and everything fits the body very nicely. Are these knee pads new? I want to say they are. I can't think of where they were before, if we've seen them before, but it's nice to get a new sculpt. The shoes, these might be from Scarlet Witch, maybe, like the jacket and arms, but I'm not positive. Either way, it's nice to have some... Not just the same old feet we see on every other figure, so that's okay. But here's the thing. I think they just nailed the head sculpt and paint job. It looks really, really good. They did a fantastic job. The, the paints are all lined up. It's a nice combination of things. The hair is shaded. The hair is sculpted really nicely. It's a separate mold, so there's no paint issues. Everything is really good about this, except for two things. One is that the ponytail is a separate piece, but they connected it with a square peg. Which means you can't pose it or anything, and it looks like it could break easily. So be aware of that. Square peg, not good. And then the other thing is the back of the head. There's a whole lot of back of a he back of head, like from the ear back. I don't know. There's something about it that's... Uh, I don't know. It, it's not... They probably should just have the hair lower, I guess. If they're going to sculpt it that way, it would look better with the hair lower. I don't know, it's just a little weird. If you push the head forward on the peg, it's not so bad, but then there's a whole lot of forwardness. So it's it's a kind of a weird transition, and that's mostly, I think, due to the lollipop syndrome. As you can see, it's, it's pretty severe on this one. Of course, if you try to avoid it, you can, and it looks perfect without it. The head doesn't sit too high if you do it just right, but you can see... You shouldn't be able to do that. Like, that is that is not good. And so that's only achievable because they have that huge gap, which is not necessary. So once again, lollipop syndrome, not good. Luckily, we can't avoid it, so we're just going to leave it there. Her entire outfit, including the neck thing, it's all just painted on, but the line work is exceptionally clean. So that's really good. There's really no issue anywhere throughout her outfit. So I am very pleased with that. And here's the thing that I think I like the most, maybe after the head sculpt, and that is the jacket. The jacket just looks really good, and that's because they put some paint on it. It's amazing how much a little paint does for a figure. The lapel area and the collar are painted black, the inside painted brown, so having the gray on the outside just gives it a really nice composition. Very nicely done. And the fact that this is a different color gray, kind of a bluish color, than the rest of the jacket looks really nice. The gloves are slightly darker even than that. So the composition is just really fantastic. And then they did paint the buckles. So bonus points to them. It's a very well composed figure. So we already talked about the articulation for the head. It's fantastic, but it's got a lollipop. So for the shoulders, we still get really good range out of these shoulders. We've seen this before. Very nicely done, except the elbows are less than 90 degrees. You do get your bicep swivel out of them, but that's about it. Here is one issue. Uh, well, first, we have two trigger finger hands, so that's good. We have plenty of guns for her to hold, and she can hold them, so that's fine. Here's the thing, though. This hand has a horizontal hinge, which is normally okay, but look what happens when we put the gun in her hand. If I can get it in there. Get in there. So she can hold it just fine. The hands are sculpted well, but it, it comes off at quite a severe angle, and the hinge doesn't help. So it's kind of a bummer on this side. Not a deal breaker, but here's the good thing. It's a really good thing. On this side... We have the same hand sculpt, so it's going to hold just fine. If I can get it in there. 
So she can hold the rifle just fine, you can see, no problem. But the hinge on this side is a vertical hinge, which means she can actually level the rifle and point where she wants to. So that's a really good thing. It would have been great to see that on both sides. You can put her in a really nice dual wielding type pose, but they didn't give us that. So it's a little bit of a bummer, because this one's going to be up like this. Which isn't terrible, but it's worth noting. And then for the diaphragm joint, it's pretty good because we have this nice soft jacket and the joint itself works just fine, so you can pose it around no problem at all. This is a nice soft belt, we already kind of talked about that, so it won't get in the way. The hips still only go about 45, so it's a little bit of a bummer. They still go all the way forward, you're going to have to play around with the belt to make it look okay, but you can do it, so that's pretty good. Thigh swivel does work just fine, though it's a little stiff. Double jointed knees, no problem at all, and then for the ankle, we can bring the foot, it takes a little bit of force, but you can go pretty far back with it, so that's good. And then you can go all the way forward with it, so that's good. So, yeah, there's really not a whole lot on this figure to be upset about. They did a really good job. It's really just that lollipop neck, and then the hair not having a ball peg instead of a square peg. So, those are pretty minimal issues. So, I am very pleased with this. If you're not buying the whole set, you want to get this one. And if you are buying the whole set, then this is probably going to be one of your favorites. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.